everyone from my very first European river cruise with Avalon Waterways. So I'm actually starting this vlog off right away with a lot of activities. I didn't film embarkation day yesterday because it was kind of hectic. If you watch my Queen Mary 2 vlogumentary, we actually got off the Queen Mary 2, took a transfer to the London airport, sat at the London airport, got on a plane to Luxembourg, got to Luxembourg, got on a transfer to the river cruise, arrived late, which they already knew we were going to. And so by the time we arrived, it was like seven o'clock PM. We got welcomed, we had dinner, and we went to bed. It was a very long travel day. So I promise I am going to make up for that and show you all a cabin tour because this is a beautiful uh, river cruise cabin as well as doing a full river cruise boat tour. Um, today, very, very active day, which I'm excited for. We are actually going to be heading to Luxembourg City for the next five and a half hours. Then we are going to be cruising along the river for a few, and then we end the night in Trier. Germany where we're doing another tour. So I'm just really excited to bring you all along with me because I think that river cruising sometimes gets a misconception that it's boring and you're just sailing along these rivers in Europe but there's so much more to it. Like I'm gonna have like a 15 hour day today. It's gonna be great and I'm exploring two different countries in one day and I'm exploring their little towns that a lot of people don't go to like the other tourists. So one thing they left me in my room is my own little set of headphones uh, for the tours I'm going on. So I think I'm going to pack these even though I'm not sure if I need them or not today. I want to show you all these two beautiful large bottles of water that were in my room uh, or in my cabin I should say for uh, embarkation day yesterday. I wanted to just show you because I'm about to pop one open and have some water so I'm going to ruin this beautiful presentation here. All right, I wanted to grab some coffee this morning before we head out. Um, they have a couple different machines on board, so they have one here in this main lounge and then another in a different lounge, but I'm gonna show you all that in our uh, ship tour. So I'm just relaxing until it's excursion time. And this view is just spectacular right now while I have my coffee. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that is. So whenever you do leave the ship, all you do is you take your room key card and you scan it on this little uh, pad they have here and you put check out so you are leaving the ship and that's how they know that you are not on the ship and when you come back in, just check back in so they know you're here. All right, we took a short walk away from the river cruise ship to get on these couple of buses that are going to take us over to Luxembourg City. It is going to be about a 40 minute or so ride. Yeah, we are waiting for our bus driver. Uh, um, perhaps uh, until he comes, uh, until we start driving. Let me tell you something about transportation here in Luxembourg. Uh, if you get on a bus here in Luxembourg, if you get on a tram or if you get on the train in Luxembourg, it's free. So Luxembourg is one of the richest country in the world. Uh, people are always saying number one in the world is Qatar on the Persian Gulf. We have these Emirate states and number two is Luxembourg. And that's why uh, two years ago they introduced this um, in order to get to, to get people away from the streets, to get cars away from the streets. Yeah, it works. Okay. Fine. Picture stop and go, stop and go. So we are lucky to have um, a celebration day today when the streets are really the streets are really uh, empty. I'm driving into Trier tonight. Uh, then you will see in, in, in Trier we have sandstone and slate. So here we have a completely different geological, geological situation uh, compared to, uh, compared to uh, neighboring uh, Germany. Yeah, if you had come here, as I said, uh, before, um, uh, before 1800, like Versailles in France, and this used to be the, this used to be the headquarters uh, of the, uh, of the uh, steel company in Luxembourg. It was one of the biggest in the world. Uh, they merged and merged with many international companies and that's why they built these headquarters here which uh, uh, which were built after um, um, a castle in after the famous um, Versailles all right we are officially off the tour bus and now we have about a two-hour walking tour around the city of Luxembourg and look at how beautiful this place is behind me this is incredible I can't wait to tell you all I do have this earpiece here where he's uh, giving us all this information about Luxembourg so I will let you all know what he tells me so actually as I mentioned earlier it is a holiday here in Europe so that's why this place is so empty today so it feels like we have the whole Luxembourg city to ourselves this is the one car that's passing by <laughs>
Wow, I'm genuinely shocked how much greenery is in this city. It is absolutely stunning. I am loving our walking tours so far. You can see this beautiful bridge behind me that we just walked across. We have all these trees. We're actually up really high on a hill right now, and we are just continuing our walk and learning all about Luxembourg. So fun little fact, actually all of the public transportation is free in Luxembourg. It is one of the richest countries in the world. So that tram that just went by, you could just hop on board that. Nobody's gonna ask for a ticket or anything and it's completely free, same with buses. We have a beer cart. We have a french fry cart. And I mean, honestly, what else do you need? <laughs> we have a federal system in, um, in Germany, but they're here, they, uh, this is um, according to the French system, the central mm. government. Yeah, and then these are the regions of this trainer, of this, uh, uh, the British always say trainer. Um, you see here, uh, this is where we were driving through the yellow part. This is the good land. This is agricultural area and blue along the Moselle. You can imagine what blue is. <laughs> After World War II, uh, the monument disappeared for decades. And then in the mid 80s, I can remember, there was a short note in the newspaper in Luxembourg. If you are looking for the Golden Lady, it's lying hidden under the seats of the football stadium. Oh so somebody from Luxembourg <laughs> had hidden it for three decades after World War II. Why had he hidden it? He was saying, I am a Catholic. And this lady, her dress is a bit too tight. And she is, and she is just standing opposite the cathedral where Virgin Mary is, uh, is, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, in the area of the altar. So that's why somebody, a very Catholic, conservative person, had hidden it for three decades. And then in the 1980s, it was put up again. Uh, by the way, here in Europe, if you see churches that have a roof on top, you see church with the roof there. And this means it's a Catholic church. Alright, so we are continuing our tour by going to go walk across the old city wall, which will be really nice. The statue I was just showing you is the statue of a duchess here who ruled Luxembourg. So those were just some decorations that were left over from a festival they recently had. And uh, for hundreds of years, soldiers were in there, where you have the holes from each hole, the cannon gun would be sticking out, soldiers and the horses. At times there were 1,200 soldiers uh, with a 1,000 horses. And in most areas of these castmates, no toilets. But at that time, this was not important. The important was that you had shelter, that you couldn't be hit by bombs or by uh, with ammunition, ammunition of the time. The river down there, the river outset, is flowing around the outset river flows around it. So I am looking down right now on what is the lower part of the city. Now here is where uh, back in the day they used to have the people of like poverty or new incoming immigrants because the lower part of the city was more susceptible to flooding um, because this is all limestone underneath us and so limestone, the water drizzles right through, goes down uh, to the lowest point. So people in the upper city up here and behind me, what we were exploring, we've been walking down to the lower part now, um, that is all going to be um, people of well used to be people of higher status in society I am just loving this what a great start to the day beautiful walking we get a little exercise we get to tour a new city this is spectacular <laughs> are just incredible that we are seeing. This is a beautiful, beautiful city. I don't know what this is, 
coming up, but it looks like a pretty unique way to see Luxembourg, huh? <sighs> So we are touring some old dwellings here in the city. These were from before the World War, the First World War. They even have um, signs on the doors to try to keep out the Black Plague. There's, um, it, it's just incredible. And you can see how tiny and small these are. It's, it's incredible. This is the other side of those uh, apartment buildings I was just showing you. Look at this little street. And then right behind all the history, we have our traditional pubs cafes and eateries <laughs> but look at how beautiful this little square is behind me I absolutely love it none of the cafes or anything are open today because of the holiday but isn't it so neat that we have like this city to ourselves it's so cool <laughs> All right, so we are just finishing up some free time we had here in the center of Luxembourg City. So we are going back to our group and then we are getting on our tour bus back to the ship where we are going to, yay, finally be sailing away for the first time on the river. Well, what an incredible start to the day. It is still only noon, so I'm going to go grab some lunch on board. They do have two options. You have a lighter lunch area, um, which is some small bites that you can have, appetizer style food. And then there is the lunch buffet that is downstairs. So I think I'm gonna go check out and see what is on the buffet. And very soon, we set sail. I'm so excited. And then tonight we end up in um, Trier, Germany. So we're gonna do another tour today. Okay, so I decided to make myself like a little sampler plate here. So I got some Luxembourg breaded pork chops. I got this like uh, plum dumpling, chicken, mashed potatoes, veggies, a like grilled zucchini and goat cheese sandwich, tomato, cucumber, and some peas. Well, it looks as though we are pulling away from the dock and we are setting sail. You can see a little bit up this window, some oh. small movement here. Coming up on a cute little town here on the left, seeing if I can get it for you all. Looks like we are changing our flag from Luxembourg to Germany. Uh -huh. Wow, looks so cool. <laughs> Look at how beautiful the swans are. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? <laughs> oh my goodness. Get out of the way. I don't want you to get hit. See, that one's booking it. This one's taking it. Look at it. Oh, he knows. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh oh. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> So one feature I absolutely love about Avalon, I came back to my room and I opened up my giant panorama sliding door. I do have a little like open air balcony here. I can just open up and watch Germany go by. How cool is that? <laughs> There's like a little like abandoned boat over there. So cute. Oh my goodness. Look at us sailing under our first very low bridge here. That's actually why a lot of these European river cruises are only about three to four decks high so they can get under these bridges and then they also have to go through like the canal locks. So some people were like pretty surprised. They were like, oh my gosh, that's such a small ship. And I'm like, yeah, like it's a European river cruise, not an ocean cruise. So you're going to have a lot smaller, more intimate, relaxed beautiful ship to sail along the river yay the top deck is open so I'm coming out here and checking out the view 
Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys have to see what we are sailing by right now. I jumped up and grabbed my camera because there is an Aldi. Oh my goodness, so unique, so different. This is incredible. I saw that and I had to get up the camera and show you all because we're just sailing through a little town right now. Um, but I am so excited to end up in Trier, Germany tonight. We do like a nighttime walking tour, so that will be fun to show you all. Um, but some of the stuff we've been sailing by is just absolutely beautiful. But I thought the Aldi was funny to show you. <laughs> One thing I would like to quick mention is we are getting ready to head to dinner tonight. Now, River cruising is very fluid, right? Things are going to be changing. So our dinner time is changing tonight, but that's only because we have an excursion later this evening we still have to do at eight o'clock to do a walking tour of Trier, Germany. So I'm really excited to show you all that, but right now, sorry, there's a floaty, um, is I am going to go have some dinner, some great dinner tonight. We have like a pasta dish that sounds really good and you do get a full four course meal nightly so you get an appetizer you get like a soup or a salad you can well you can get uh two of those and then you get your entree and then you can get a dessert um if you'd like and all wine and beer is also included with dinner all right so we have finished up dinner it was incredible i had like a broccoli wine soup so good and a pasta and then i did have a little bit of time about five minutes for a chocolate eclair that i devoured so now it is time to go walk that off in trier germany we're gonna set foot on german soil for the first time and i'm so excited i am actually like 98 percent german and this is my first time in germany so oh no there come the tears i am so excited all right here we go we are going to go ahead and get on the bus to trier germany where we will spend the evening we actually are there till 2 45 a.m if we wish but we are going to be heading back to the ship before that um or we'll see we'll see where the night takes us here in germany it all had been soldier towns they have not been imperial cities Trier had been an imperial city and that is of course a major impact on the architecture we have here a throne hall for the emperors we had of course several spas we had that of course uh, had also the mint here for the northwestern roman empire so let's say uh, 35 years ago, uh, we found here by coincidence a big degree of students. Oh my god! <laughs> That's the best tour! <laughs> under renovation and you can see the river has an <laughs> island here in the middle the, the part next to us is not chippable the other one is chippable and when we start driving then on the left hand side I, I tried now in advance so on the left hand side you are going to see um, uh, villas from the turn of the 19th to the 20th century here Art Nouveau, Art Deco, very very nice and in 1936 the mayor Pochhaus built this levee here and avoid floods in the city to avoid floods in the city you know we still have to deal with that you might have heard last year um, we had this uh, terrible floods here in our area that one later on because they have this wine cellar and you can see behind this red tree uh, the patron saint Saint Jacobus and they own this wonderful uh, vineyard with, uh, which is built on sand what I showed you on the other side so on the right hand side you have the crane with a turnable roof and it has arms to unload boats and to load boats yeah so it's you can turn it, it's 600 years old. Oh, Opposite side, forward. you see a chimney with a heart that was earlier the slaughter hall. Today, it's the biggest private private academy of arts, so quite a turn. Oh Upper pot for the water, and then afterwards, From the, Roman the people went to the tepid air pool. It was here with windows, it was outside plastered, it was covered with a roof, and inside with marble tiles and floor heating. They went then to the tepid air pool, <laughs> <laughs> mixed between pluck and ouch, plouch. <laughs> So have a look to the please attention attention have a look to the you see we have a Prince Bishop Palace. Today it's used as a church. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we officially are off the tour bus. Hilarious. I will tell you all the story later, but we are now beginning our walk through Trier. Look at how 
how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Meat talking. We say it a little bit different. We say putting honey around one's mouth. Yeah? <laughs> so if I want to have her on my side, I put honey around her mouth. And what it's meaning, he wanted to tell us, uh, my people of Tria are good people. They are busy like bees. Yeah. On the other side, it was a wrong compliment, a false compliment. It was sweet. Something uh, similar. Are you taping me? This is just such a beautiful cathedral here. Absolutely stunning. So, from the sound of it, the party is this way. <laughs> I don't know what's going down down there. Clearly a large party going on here in the square, but this is the quintessential German that you see. It is absolutely beautiful tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited and happy to be here. Oh my gosh, it's all so cute. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Goodness, this looks incredible. They hand make all this ice cream here and it looks incredible. <laughs> or the Oreo, which one between the two? All right, we are pausing for ice cream time. How's yours? Oh, yummy, yummy. <laughs> How's yours, cream? <laughs> it's gelato. Oh, gelato. Mm. And they hand make it right here, they said, right? Wow, so this little pink house is the home of Karl Marx and now there's a Euro shop which is like their dollar store here. How funny is that? And then we are right next to this beautiful structure here. Just got back in my cabin from the tour and look what's on the TV. It's a little cozy fireplace. How cute is that? And then we have a cute little scarf here and a welcome note. Again, absolutely love that. And yesterday when I got on board, I got a water bottle. How neat is that? Oh my gosh, I am exhausted. What a fun long day of excursions and then sailing and then dinner and then more excursions. Just what a great day of exploration here in Luxembourg and Germany. Tomorrow we have another full day as well. We are going to do a medieval walking tour of Bernicastel in the morning. In the afternoon, we are doing a brewery tour of one of the most famous breweries in Germany, which is exciting. And then at night, we're doing a wine tasting tour. So tomorrow's going to be another long day, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Music